wasn't a born researcher. I was just curious about what is happening in communities, what is you know, happening in our society. The percentage of foreign born here is around 40%. So that's why I'm very curious about how many residents living in San Jose report their crimes or victimization experiences. But for my own research project, I work with National Opinion Research Center in studying social inequality, income inequality, and crime, and other social issues. These six maps uh, show you the violence distribution in San Jose in the past uh, six years. As you can see here, from 2013 to 2018, 40% of crimes do get reported to the police. Most crimes occur in downtown regions. But I want to figure out, as a researcher, why? So instead of looking at secondary data, such as you know, the police reports, it's very important to collect first-hand data. We're in the process of recruiting and training our students to survey the victims of crime living in this neighborhood. I want to understand how many crimes are actually being reported to the police in these regions. I want to understand how different groups right, living in San Jose experience crime and violence differently. Mental health issues, smoking, other health-related behaviors are also in these regions. Wilson is addressing some very important gaps in research to date. There's very little research that actually addresses the prevalence and the impact of criminal victimization on immigrants. His research is very timely in that he's trying to sort of uncover how do we fix the problem so that immigrants are able to seek the services that they need so that they feel comfortable with the police. And Wilson has worked with community leaders, law enforcement, as well as the campus to uh, address issues of crime and fears of crime and victimization. And so the work that he conducts has real world applications that can be important to the community of San Jose State as well as the Bay Area. The research is important because it's very congruent with San Jose State's mission in terms of community centered and community-based research. San Jose State provided the you know, environment for me to carry out this project. We use both quantitative data and qualitative data to gain a better understanding of the link between immigration and victimization.